developing and implementing service charters in government MDAs. Service delivery and service charters. Where do service charters fit in? The development of service charters is central to improving service delivery. What are service charters? A service charter is a public document that informs clients about MDA services, outlines citizens' rights and responsibilities, as well as relevant avenues for communication, specifies standards of service delivery in the form of a series of commitments, entitlements, or promises upon which customers can expect and demand quality service as a right. Set out arrangements for complaints to which they can have recourse when service fails. Gives information about fees and associated costs of services for customers and stakeholders. However, a service charter is only the formal expression of a process of defining standards, evaluating an organization's ability to achieve those standards, reviewing performance against the standards, and planning continuous service delivery improvement. Why are service charters important? Customers and the public are entitled to be told the level, range, and quality of services they are to receive. Apart from practically demonstrating government's resolve to make services accountable to citizens, service charters provide customers, staff, and stakeholders for the first time with First, a set of key services that an MDA provides to its customers and stakeholders. Second, a central resource where customers and stakeholders can find the information about an MDA's key services in one place. Third, clear, consistent information that is accessible and easy to find. Fourth, clear statements about customers' and stakeholders' obligation in providing complete and accurate information so that the public employees can serve them more effectively and the means by which services and the delivery of service standards can be monitored and evaluated. Who must produce a service charter? All government MDAs are required to develop service charters in consultation with staff, customers, service users, and stakeholders. A ministry will have a comprehensive integrated charter covering the services of its peristatals and agencies. Each agency or peristatal is also expected to produce a local charter and display standards for its services that it renders to the public users. Developing a service charter, stakeholders' participation and responsibilities. The successful implementation of an MDA service charter is based on the active participation of key stakeholders in its development and implementation. These include 1 management and staff of MDAs, commissioners, chief executives, two, customers or users of services, three, community and civil society groups, four, members of the State of House of Assembly. Essential components of a service charter. One, introduction or background, description of the organization's mandate statement of purpose of the charter document. Two, Vision Statement – Statement of the desired vision that the organization aims to attain through its services. 3. Mission Statement 4. Customers' Information – A comprehensive list of customers or clients. 5. Service Provision and Delivery – List of services provided by the MDA. Statement of specific standards which customers can expect from each service listed. Standards of service quality of relationship with customer, quality of service provision, timeliness of service delivery, and so on. Special needs provision, clear description of performance and monitoring and reporting arrangement. Six, complaints or grievance redress mechanism. Seven, customers' obligations. Eight, stakeholders' participation. Nine, existing limitations, if any. 10, review process. A step-by-step -step process for developing a service charter in MDAs. First, defining MDAs business and mandate. Second, 
organizing and facilitating stakeholders' consultations. Third, setting the service standards. Fourth, communicating the service standards and service charter commitments. Critical success factors for developing, implementing, and sustaining a service charter. One, putting a state service charter policy and an organizational framework and guidance in place. Two, mandating a coordinating agency with the authority and influence to drive the process. Three, piloting service charters with MDAs that already have service user-oriented systems in place. Four, constituting and training a service charter task team or equivalent to take responsibility for the process in each MDA. Five, building understanding of the concept and importance of service standards as an integral part of an organization's operations. Six, periodic reporting on service charter implementation to maintain standards and focus. Thank you for listening to how to develop and implement service charters in government MDAs. Hope you enjoyed watching this how-to guide. For more information, visit our website or contact us via our social media pages at Pearl Nigeria on Facebook and Twitter. Please like and share. Thank you.